Hey cycling community, this is Steve Grusis, the Cycling Greek. What do you do when you have been sick for a week and you're the Cycling Greek? You make a video about being sick for a week. It is a week since my last race and two weeks to go before the race I want to do well in. And I get sick. So what am I going to do? I have two choices. One, rest until it's pretty much gone and get on the bike again and hope for the best in my race. Or two, ride what my body will allow me to ride, and when I'm feeling better, I will not have as far to go to get race ready for my race. The riskier option can set me back even further if my assumptions are wrong or I make a wrong calculation in my training. The risk is that my infirmity is not isolated to my neck up. Some of it is in my lungs, and I can feel it system-wide a little bit. The day before, not feeling my best, I decided to do the group ride. It had its usual fast start, where I quickly realized something was wrong. I lasted five and a half miles before I got dropped. I took an easy ride back in. Now what you're seeing is the next day. I climbed very comfortably for about 12 miles and then I rode back. While I was climbing, I was caught by my teammate, the mad Russian, Igor. His pace was certainly stronger than mine, but it was doable for me. After a while, I just started running out of energy since a lot of my energy was going to fighting my infirmity. I just told Igor that I was running out of gas. I'm glad I came out, but uh, my energies have gone to uh, recovering from being sick, still recovering from being sick, but uh, it's been a good ride. I can go a little faster, and uh, I've been out here 111, non-stop. Okay, time to turn around and go home. So, this is my fourth day of riding, and uh, you know, I almost forgot a bottle, but I had a spare bottle there. Got my hammer bottle. Rather than sit on my butt for a week and then wait for this to be over, I decided to do just easy riding, whatever my body can take, so that when I do feel better, assuming I don't overdo it, that I will not have lost that much. So far, it's working. At least I think it's working. I'm feeling a little better every day. I'm going riding almost every day. I shouldn't say almost every day. This is the fourth time, actually the fifth time in uh, in a week. So far, so good. Can't always do that. Nothing wrong with testing yourself. Okay, got to get changed. <laughs> six days to go to my race, I felt I was ready to test myself on the fast group ride after work today. After my initial pull at the start of the ride, I went to the back and just rode wheels the entire time. Once we got up to speed, the pack kept it between 26 and 31 the entire time. After about five minutes on a low grade climb when we were going 28 miles an hour, I succumbed to the pace and fell off. I was pleased though with what I was able to accomplish and felt I was ready for the next step. The next step being the fast group ride two days later, where I would not just sit in but play an active role. That Thursday ride went well for me. On Saturday, I did an easy one hour endurance ride, and Sunday, I went to the races. I did two crits that day. On the first crit, with four laps to go, I attacked on a small climb. I bridged up to a solo chase, whom I dropped on that same climb on the next lap. I just about bridged up to the two man breakaway but we were caught with less than two laps to go, so I dialed back. The next crit was much faster. I stayed with the pack and was never in trouble. It was a good day for me. As you can see, how I dealt with my being sick two weeks before my race worked out for me. A large part of that is because I'm in tune with my body and I know what I can and can't do. It doesn't always work out that way, but it did this time. I hope you found this entertaining and informative. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, the Cycling Greek.